Hi everyone, this is Kathy Grosskirch with Bookkeeping Clean and Simple here in Austell, Georgia near Metro Atlanta. And today we are back in Desktop 2022 because I want to talk about one of the new features that I think you'll find that's pretty cool that's available in 2022 as well as some of the subscription products of 2019. And specifically we're talking about the ability now you can generate a payment URL link for customer payments. In other words, you can go ahead and create a link that you can email to your client before invoicing. And what this does is allow you, if you want to collect a deposit or something like that before you issue an invoice, you can do that now out of desktop. And the software will keep track of the link sent and the payments received. Now, when a QuickBooks desktop user receives and processes the payment from this URL, cash is increased and then the accounts receivable for that specific customer is decreased. And then later, when you invoice the client for your products or services provided, then you can apply that prepayment to the invoice. So what I want to show you today is how you get to that payment link, how to generate it, and then also what the customer sees on their side. And one important note here is that you have to have a active QuickBooks payments account in order for this to work because otherwise if you don't then it's going to send you to another screen where you have to actually apply for QuickBooks payments in product but at any rate you go over here to customers and then you go to payment links once you click on that then you'll see these next screens here okay so we've clicked on the payment links link and that's brought us to this page where it talks about the steps that we need to do. We click on that blue button that says create payment link. And that opens up a little other mini screen where we can actually put in a little note as far as what the products or services that we're selling. And then we have the drop down where we can select the customer to whom we're sending that to, along with a place to put that customer email then we can also choose the ways in which we want to get paid. And then once everything looks good, we click on the send payment link. And then on the next screen, you'll see what the customer sees. So after you click on the send payment link, you see the cutaway of the confirmation along with a cutaway from the customer end, what they see when they actually open up their email. And then from the link in the email that the customer receives, all they have to do is click on the pay button and that'll open up the window where they would just pay the deposit in however way they wanna pay based on how you set it up on your end. So that's basically it for this. It, it just makes it so much easier than having to issue an invoice and all that when you just wanna collect a real quick deposit. So anyway, I hope this helps you today. Y'all take care, everyone, and have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching. I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and share it with others. My goal is to publish at least one new video per week on QuickBooks desktop or online topics, the occasional motivational video, and a few surprises thrown in here and there. I would love to talk to you about how to help you optimize your knowledge and usage of QuickBooks Desktop or Online. My Calendly link is in the slide. Please use that to reach out to me to schedule a free 45-minute initial consult. I would love to talk to you about your QuickBooks Desktop or Online training needs. Again, have a wonderful day, and until next time, we'll see you soon. Take care.